Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to reboot your iPod Touch second generation after it has turned off. So uh, yeah, what we're going to first do is obviously turn it off, so uh, turn it off. And it's spinning dial in the second sword. And uh, there we go, it's turned off, so if we click the home button, nothing happens, power, keep holding it and uh, no Apple logo appears so it's completely unresponsive so this is what your iPod will probably look like at the moment just nothing and you'll be going oh my god what's happened to my iPod so um, I'm now going to show you how to fix that so the first thing you're going to want to do is put it into DFU mode now I'm just going to show you how to do that in the next bit so in order to get your iPod into DFU mode you are going to need to plug your iPod in. But before I do that, I'm going to talk to you about um, Mac OS X 10.5.6. Now, um, some of you may realize or know that I um, have iLife 09 and um, that requires the latest update of Mac. Now, um, I know that Mac, the latest version, doesn't allow you to put it in DFU mode. There's a uh, yeah, link in the description um, on the right that um, will help you to um, make it work. So um, as I said before, we're going to plug the iPod in. Um, oh yeah, because um, then we're going to put it in DFE mode, which is um, hold the home and power for 10 seconds, and then release the power and keep holding the home. So uh, let's do that now. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power and keep holding the home. And there we go. iTunes has uh, just popped up with a message. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do after you have put your iPod into DFU mode and closed out of iTunes. Um, you're going to want to download the RS Lite folder um, from the description. Now if you uh, uh, jailbreak your iPod using my method or my video then um, you'll probably have a folder that looks um, vaguely similar to this one. If it doesn't look anything like this then I'd recommend you download it. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. And uh, once you're in here you're going to click the unofficial readme. So you just open that and uh, we can close out of that folder now. So we're going to now scroll down to this point in the readme. It says put your iPod into DFU mode. It's in bold. Um, so we're going to find the point here. Then the first thing it says is in terminal type code blah blah blah. So what we're going to do is find um, terminal. So spotlight is a good thing to find it. Just type in terminal and um, launch it. So um, it doesn't actually say this in the readme, but what you're going to do is want to you want to change the directory so we're looking at this file. So it's going to be cd space squiggly line, it's next to the z on the keyboard, um, if you're on a Mac that is, forward slash desktop, capital D, forward slash rs light, enter. So now what that did is change the directory so we're specifically looking at the rs light folder there. So um, now in the readme it says we need to type dot forward slash rs light. So let's go ahead and do that. Dot forward slash rs light. Enter. And um, just gives you a few messages connecting basically. Then it says enter exclamation mark ibss 211dfu I'm just going to copy it from the readme so command C Go over to terminal, then command V. You can do that, or you can just type it in. Enter. Now your iPod screen um, should go a little bit white, and um, iTunes is going to pop up. We're just going to click OK to the message, and then close out. So the next thing is going to say um, dot forward slash RS light again. So over to terminal. Enter. Connecting and a few more messages 
Then um, it says hash pwn two one one ibss dot txt. I'm just going to copy that one. Command C over the terminal. Command V enter. And uh, there we go. A few messages again. Then um, ibs no exclamation mark ibss two one one pwn dot dfu. Command C terminal. Command V enter. Now your iPod just flashes black, then white, and um, iTunes pops up again. Just do the same, OK, then close. Then we're going to do dot forward slash RS lights again, enter, connecting. So now we're going to type in the final command. Um, I'm going to type this one in for you, exclamation mark, lowercase i, capital B, O, O, T, Two two one pwn dot img three. Then we're going to click enter and um, execute, and it's okay. So uh, now on my iPod screen, it is booting up with the Apple logo. So um, I'm just going to switch back to you quickly and see if I can catch the uh, Apple logo. Okay, guys. So um, my iPod is. Oh, just see if I can get it over. So it's now rebooting and um, in a few seconds it should uh, come up there we go so um, my friend has a passcode on his iPhone uh, sorry iPod Touch and um, I don't know what it is but um, there we go it is booted and it still has all its customizations as you can see with the um, lock or unlock bar thing there so um, that is how you reboot your iPod Touch second generation if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.